Welcome back to another beautiful day in the land of music. My name is Douglas, and in today's video, I'm going to be bringing you along as I bring the new Soft Grand onto the Nord Stage 4. I'm going to show you the process of getting it on here. Probably going to have to make a little space because I think my piano section is pretty much full. Similar story to a lot of you experience, I'm sure. So probably have to make some space, bring that Soft Grand on here. And then I'm going to play you a little sample of it. I use Soft Grands all the time. You may have watched the video where I did this on the Nord Stage 3. But with the Nord Stage 4, I have my triple pedal, which gives access to the pedal noises. And I'm just really excited to check this out on the Nord Stage 4. So the first thing I'm going to do is just plug this USB into the back of the Nord, if I can figure out which way. Climbing over there. And then we're going to plug this into our computer's USB. So over here on the computer, we're going to open up our browser, go to nordkeyboards.com. And then there's a couple places you can find this, at least right now. So one, because this is new, the Soft Grand is advertised right here on the front page. You can also find it up here in the sound libraries. If we go to the Nord Piano Library, select the Nord Stage 4 Grand Pianos. And it's the first one here in this list. New as of December 22nd of last year. So again, let's go ahead and download this. I'm going to grab the extra large version, which is just shy of 200 megabytes. You could download the other versions. Really the difference here is the smaller the version, the more they spread the samples across the keys instead of having each key uh, carry its own sample. So the extra large version has the most in terms of the characteristics and dynamics because each key has its own samples rather than stretching them. So again, we're going to grab the extra large version. I'm going to click on that and that's going to download it to my computer. While that's downloading, let's go ahead and open up the sound manager for the Nord. So this is the Nord sound manager. You're going to have to download this in order to bring this new sound onto your Nord Stage 4. You can find that here if you go to software on the nordkeyboards.com website and then go Nord Sound Manager and just grab the latest version, install that to your computer, and then open that up. With the Nord plugged in, the Nord is turned on, and you'll notice here it's connected. Down here, if I maximize my window, down here it says connected to the Nord. I'm still on version 1.12, so yes, I do need to update my Nord. Um, but here you can see our piano section, how much we've used, how much is free, sample library, programs, organ presets, piano presets, and synth presets. Because again, the Nord Stage 4 has the preset libraries. We have these three tabs here. And then what we want to do though is over here, you can see we only have 11.9 megabytes free. So as I mentioned, kind of one of the, the big things that um, you hear a lot is there's not a ton of space once you start to get instruments on there. I'd love it if they would just like double the size or I mean, we're in an age where we have one terabyte hard drives. Let's throw a terabyte. <laughs> I digress though. So let's go in here and what we want to do is make some space. So what I like to do is I'm going to put this into the grand bank because this is a soft grand. And so what I want to do is figure out, okay, I need to make about 190 megabytes of space. So I look here and, and see, are there any pianos that I don't really use? And I can definitely spot a couple. So I don't really use a Bright Grand. I don't use the um, Mozart Forte Piano Medium either. So right there, that's 95. If I grab the Bright Grand, that gets me close. Uh, e Grand, I could probably get rid of all three of these. Now you'll notice as I'm clicking on them, in the right hand side, it shows me which programs and which piano presets this sound in particular is used in. So you can see the Bright Grand is used in five different programs or presets. The Electric Grand is used in eight and Mozart's used in three. So if we just went ahead and deleted these, we'd leave a hole in all of these programs or presets where this Bright Grand was previously referenced. We don't want to do that because I don't want to leave a hole. Now we have a couple of options. One, we could substitute and essentially replace the Bright Grand and everywhere it lives in a program or preset with another sound that we're bringing onto the Nord. But in this case, it's not a right match in terms of size. So I can't just do a direct replacement of the Bright Grand. I have to replace three. So my best option here is just to right click on this and relink this to another sound. So maybe I'm going to go ahead and relink these to the Silver Grand. So what I do is I click that option and it says this will relink all programs and piano presets using the Bright Grand to use whatever new piano I pick. So I'm going to pick the Silver Grand. I'm going to click Relink. 
And now you'll notice my bright grand, which we just relinked, is marked as unused and it says not used in any program or piano preset. And if we look at the silver grand now, we didn't look at it before, but it's got um, the, the linkage that was already for the bright grand. So we're gonna do the same thing with the E grand. We're gonna go right click. We're gonna relink that to, uh, we'll do the silver grand again. Now we could do this with the white grand because I know I'm not getting rid of the white grand. So maybe that would be a better one, but for now, I'm just gonna relink all three of these. And one thing you may be worried like, oh man, you know, I'm getting rid of these three, but what if I wanna use those in the future? Very easy, come back over to the sound libraries, bring up the piano library again, uh, grand pianos, and there they are. You can just go in, I could say, oh, I wanna bring in the studio grand again. I can go and download that studio grand and bring that right in. So very easy, we don't have to worry about losing a sound because they're all on the Nord website. And if I wanted, I could also do a full reset of um, the keyboard itself. So if I come over to product libraries, Nord stage four, I can do a full factory reset of the piano bank, for example. So great to know those types of things, uh, just little tips to help you here. So what we're gonna do is now I'm gonna click on all three of these. I'm gonna delete these off of my Nord stage four. And it's, you'll see the little progress bar and on the Nord itself, it's also going to show a little progress bar for the deletion. It's pretty quick because these are really small. So now we've got 202.5 megabytes free down here, updates to show us. So we're good to bring the soft grand onto our keyboard. So we're gonna click sound down and then we're gonna choose the file we just downloaded. And we're gonna go select that Nord soft grand that we just downloaded. And we have a couple of options within our destination here. So we can add to bank or we can replace the entire contents of a bank. Now, I definitely don't wanna replace the entire contents. So what we're gonna be doing is just adding to the grand bank our soft grand. I'm gonna click on download. And you'll see that this is now queued and it's gonna go through a little bit of a cleaning and then it's gonna download and uh, put the soft grand XL onto our Nord stage four. Gives us a little bit of a time here. Should take about three minutes. I'm gonna skip ahead to the completion of this. One thing to note too, is you'll also see a progress bar on your Nord stage four screen and that lets you know the progress as well. So both on the computer and on your Nord. We'll let this finish and then we'll jump back over to the Nord Stage 4 and we'll check this sound out. So now we can see on the computer that it says download completed successfully. And jumping back over to the Nord Stage 4, we see no progress bar or anything like that. The quickest way to try the soft grant out is to just do a layer init, hold shift and tap on this button with a layer init labeled below it. It's gonna ask us what we want to initialize. This isn't gonna delete any saved programs or anything like that. It's just gonna reset us back to a white grand. So we're gonna tap on all. And we've got the white grand here. The beautiful white grand. And now we're just gonna use our piano select encoder here. Make sure it's on the grand category because that's where we added this soft grand. We're gonna scroll until we find our soft grand. There it is. You can see it's the XL version.
again, if you've watched my Nord Stage 3 videos on the Soft Grand, you'll have heard this already, or if you've listened to samples, but it's beautiful and it plays great on the Nord Stage 4 weighted key bed. that string resonance just kills me every time. So listen, if I turn string res off in the acoustics of the piano section, and I hold the sustain pedal and play a few notes together. They're sustained, but if we turn string res on, You just get that extra bit of realism as if you were playing a grand and you were holding the sustain pedal. You get that same sort of resonance going on there. Absolutely beautiful. We have the pedal noise because of the triple pedal. That's nothing really special to this sound itself, but. So that's the soft grand. Let's go ahead and throw just a little bit of stage reverb. Let's go ahead and maybe a 4.5 amount on there. has a little bit of an upright feel to it, even though it's a grand. It's got kind of, I don't want to say that out of tune feel, um, but a little bit of that. Let's go ahead and throw some dynamic compression on here. Let's go with like the two. This is where the magic starts to happen because what the dynamic compression does is it evens out the volume. So when I play it soft, the volume level of those notes is the same as when I'm playing it hard or more the same than without dynamic compression, but it doesn't squash it like traditional compression does. If we turn that all the way up to three, I was on the Nord stage there, I felt like it was maybe slightly too soft, even though it's supposed to be a soft grand. I, you know, compared to maybe the white grand soft timbre, this still was like quite a bit softer than the soft timbre of the white grand. And using the dynamic compression, And then let's just go and take this to a Nord stage level and use some cathedral reverb at maybe 3.5.
yep, could go on forever, but going to wrap this video up for you guys so that I can just get back to kind of playing around with this. But thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful for you. Even if it wasn't, I hope you enjoyed just kind of seeing how the soft grand can fit into some of what the Nord Stage 4 can do versus what the Nord Stage 3 can do in my other video. So just kind of pulling in some of those pieces of the Nord Stage 4, some of those effects, some of the dynamic compression functionality, and it just levels this soft grant up. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, throw those down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching. Stay inspired and keep making that music.